Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a quick video to show how you can upload uh, your own personal assets into designs in command so that when you're creating an email or a marketing piece or any of the number of things that we can do in designs, you don't have to constantly re-upload or find a picture or a logo saved on your hard drive. We can actually put them all right into our own assets in command um, so that they're easy to find. So the first thing we'll do is we'll navigate to command by logging in at agent.kw.com. And once we're logged into command, we're going to go to designs on the left. So it's the paintbrush and the board here on the left designs. And once we're in more designs, we're going to go to create design at the top right. And I usually pick social here, but it doesn't matter and continue. Once this loads up, we're going to see these options at the top and we're going to go to assets and assets again are any of the things that we want to change and customize that are personal to our business um, or, or our project that we want quick access to. So once we're in assets on the left, in this example, we're going to do logos. And you can see here I've created multiple folders so that my logos are easily, uh, so that they're organized in a way that makes sense to me. I can delete folders if I want, and I'm gonna create a folder, and I'm gonna name it example for the purposes of our video here. And if I open example, I can upload from the top right here, this little upload button, or in the center because I've created this new folder, so I'm gonna click upload. And from here, I can drop files so I can open up a folder and drag and drop them, or I can navigate to those files from any of these programs here. I'm going to do the drop method. So if you've onboarded with us recently, I emailed you in your onboarding email a copy of this logos folder. But if you don't have the logos folder for whatever reason, you can reach out to Karen, Erica or myself, and we can send it over to you in an email. And it is a zip folder. So as being a zip file, you have to extract it first. So I'm going to extract this folder to the same location, which it's in. And you'll see that I now have this same zip folder is now uh, not zipped anymore, but it's open. And if I open it, you can see all the logos I have in this folder for you. And we're just going to select all of these files. And I'm going to drag them in here. And it's going to give me a little bit of a preview. And then upload all the logos. And I tried to name them in a way that made sense. So this is KW Pinnacle Group, red and black on a white background. This is uh, gray on a white background. We have gray on a transparent background, red on a transparent background. You're going to find that there are a lot of different places or instances where um, one or the other will make more sense to use for you. But we have all of the iterations here in this folder. And that's it. Uh, we can also do this with any text that we want to do, uh, any images, any pictures that you want readily available, colors and font schemes. Um, but now that I've uploaded those, those um, logos as assets, if I go back to command and I want to edit a design, let's just say I want to edit any design, then on the left, under that particular asset, logos, everything we've uploaded is here and easily uh, grabbed from now on instead of having to upload it every time. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know. If you watch this video and you think I've missed something, please let me know. I'm always happy to uh, make adjustments and uh, I appreciate your time. Thanks.